the S8 came out at a time when Samsung was just trying to recover from the Note 7 fiasco and it simply blew away the competition with its beautiful design and top-notch features. But it wasn't without its flaws. Now the S9 is coming and it will be interesting to see if it can manage to fix the S8's flaws while keeping its charm. Hey guys, this is Akshay from vbomb.com and the Galaxy S9 is just around the corner. You know when I played around with the Galaxy S8, I was amazed at what Samsung had done to the phone. I mean the design is simply amazing and the infinity display, oh man, I cannot even put it into words. But the phone did have its flaws. So I'm hoping that Samsung brings its A game when it comes to the Galaxy S9. And that's what we're talking about today. Things that Samsung can do to make the Galaxy S9 one of the best, if not the absolute best, smartphone of 2018. Before I get started, I think you should hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's take a look at the Galaxy S9. Like I said, the S8 was beautiful. The display was amazing and the design is still one of our favourites here at Bebomb. No other phone even comes close. If Samsung manages to completely obliterate the bezels, that would be the best thing ever. But I know that's not going to happen, not this year at least. However, the leaks of the S9 do show off a much thinner forehead and chin on the phone, so that's definitely great. While the design of the S9 will probably remain more or less the same as the S8, there's one thing I hope the S9 will definitely fix. Anyone who has even spent 10 seconds with the S8 can agree that the fingerprint scanner positioning on that phone is just plain bad. It's placed next to the camera. Who does that? Put it down there somewhere where human fingers can reach it, Samsung. Luckily, from the numerous leaks I've seen, it does look like Samsung realized they screwed up the fingerprint scanner. The leaks show the scanner placed beneath the camera, in a position that will be remarkably easier to reach. I know the Galaxy S8 has iris scanners, facial recognition and all of that fancy stuff, but let's just leave the fingerprint scanners a not important thing for Apple, shall we? I want the fingerprint scanner, preferably on the front, but at least at a place I can reach it without having to consciously probe for it with my finger. Talking about things that Samsung screwed up with the S8, the camera. Now the Galaxy S8 has one of the best smartphone cameras in the world, but Samsung in all of its let's leave it for the Note series wisdom gave it a single camera, without portrait mode. So yeah, the Note 8 got the portrait mode with its dual camera, but the S8 was sadly left out. I'm not saying dual cameras are necessary for portrait mode. Google has already proven that. But hey Samsung, how about dual cameras this time? According to leaks by OnLeaks, the S9 will still sport a single rear camera. Which sucks, but the S9 Plus is rumoured to have dual camera setup on its back. If that means only the S9 Plus will get a ported mode, I don't know. But it sure makes sense. In which case, why is the S9 even there? One of my personal issues with most Samsung phones is how the ports are always misaligned. If you have a Samsung phone, just pick it up and look at it. I'm serious, do it. The speaker grill, the USB-C port and the headphone jack are all placed weirdly. The S8 has the same problem and the S9, according to leaks, will also have it. It's nitpicky, I know but it's a flagship smartphone from one of the best companies in the industry. So yeah, I expect better symmetry from them. It's not a hard concept to grasp. Moving on to the more um, important things, the s facial recognition. It just doesn't work. On the off chance that it does work, it works fast enough, but most of the time, it simply does not. OnePlus did it on the 5T, and then they did it on the 5. They even talking about doing it on the 3T, but Samsung wasn't able to figure it out. I find that hard to accept. I really hope the S9 has better facial recognition tech. After all, Samsung has the hardware and software capability to do it. I'm not talking about a super secure iPhone X like Face ID feature. I don't need that. No one needs that. I'm happy with the fingerprint scanner for authenticating payments. But when it comes to unlocking my phone, I want it quick, seamless and functional. Also, Samsung's UI. Samsung has cut down on it quite a bit this last year and it has gotten better. But it's still bad. I mean the S8 that we have has started to lag after just a couple of months. And Samsung doesn't even throttle its phones. So I'm sure it's not because of the battery. I think Samsung has two choices now. 
include more RAM in the S9, 4GB might sound fine but Samsung's UI murders it. I'd say 6 or 8GB RAM on the S9, please. Otherwise, you know, you could always cut down on the experience UI a bit more until it becomes stock Android. That would actually be awesome, but it won't happen, so let's not daydream about it. Also, the S8 recently got some new features as part of the Android Oreo update, and the S9 should come with Oreo out of the box, so we can expect it to have those features as well. These include things like new edge lighting effects that allow you to adjust the colors and width of edge lighting, and a completely overhauled new Samsung keyboard with more color options and native support for GIFs and a clipboard. There's also a dual apps feature in Samsung now, so if you have two accounts on Facebook, Twitter or WhatsApp, you'll love it. So yeah, I have high hopes from the S9 and I really hope Samsung does not mess it up. If the S9 implements the things I've mentioned here, I don't think there's a lot more to desire. I mean, I desire the stock Android, but for everyone else, it would be a perfect smartphone. Unless they chalk it up to $999, but that's something I don't think will ever happen. My point is, the S9 has the potential to capture the smartphone market if it fixes the flaws of the S8. But what do you guys expect from the S9? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel because we'll definitely do a review on the S9 when it comes out and we have some exciting things planned for you. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.